since delisting, and this is another thing that is often missed in the equations, what kind of controls can be done? So if there is a farmer, what happens if there's a problem on a farm or a residential area or with dogs? Since delisting, so since December, January of 2012, DNR is authorized to kill bulls responsible for conflicts. You have a conflict, you can call DNR, DNR can come out, set traps, and kill that animal. The next thing they can do is livestock producers can kill any wolf in the act of attacking their animals. So they don't need to wait for a dead cow. They see a wolf out in their field attacking their cattle, then they can take action and shoot that wolf. And dog owners can kill any wolf in the act of attacking their dog, even on public lands. So hunter's out there with his dog, wolf approaches the dog, he can shoot that wolf without any kind of consequences, even if he's using our public lands. And the last one is a really important one. If a farmer has a loss, and something that does happen, and I'm going to go into those in a little bit, um, he would call the DNR and say, look, a wolf just killed my cattle, a wolf just killed my sheep. DNR can issue permits to that farmer and allow that farmer to name up to 10 licensed hunters or trappers to come on his land and kill wolves. There are some restrictions. The DNR will say you could only kill two or three wolves or whatever. But a licensed hunter or trapper can go on that farm. So in effect, we are using hunters and trappers to kill problem wolves. And this is a really important thing because I've heard Representative and Senator, Senator Casperson say, well, farmers can't stay out there all night waiting for a wolf to come in. No, but you can have a hunter or trapper out there doing the work for you. There are also non-lethal measures. These have always been an option. They will continue to be an option. And um, the, the uh, federal government just offered last year and this year as well, a federal matching grant. So the federal government has come up with money and said, we will help the states with non-lethal measures. And this year, the state received $12,500 to assist with compensation. So when a livestock producer loses livestock, they will be reimbursed the fair market value as of the day of the loss. And we also received $9,500 for non-lethal measures. That includes the placement of donkeys on farms, the placement of electrical fencing. This is at no cost to the producer. 